The Anoto Pen Presenter is a product tightly integrated with PowerPoint. It's a digital pen, so it works like other digital pens. It has a camera, it has an uh, ink tip, so you actually write on the paper at the same time it reads your position using the dot pattern on paper. But this is a solution uh, where you can print your paper yourself, and if you are using PowerPoint for um, your slides, this might be the best solution for you, actually. So you need to install a driver, a so-called add-in for PowerPoint, and as soon as you have done that, you get a special menu. So See, we have add-ins here, and you find the item Anoto. And if you um, look here, you can see we have the print option. So I select print, and when I do that, Anoto pen presenter, or this add-in, will print your slides like this. Um, will print, print your slides with a lot of gray dots in the background. And these dots are arranged in a special pattern that allows the pen camera to read the particular position uh, your pen has on the paper while you're writing. So, let's uh, see how this works. Basically, you apply a little dongle to your laptop, you take the cap off the pen, and you have the paper printed out with the dot pattern behind. You can also, by the way, print it one slide per page. In this case, I had six slides per page, depending on what you prefer. Uh, uh, this gives more precision, of course. So if you really need to make tiny formula, whatever, uh, draw uh, tiny things, it might be better to go with the large print. But uh, both will work for you. So what you do is you um, run the PowerPoint show and you are set to go. And um, so now I'm in a lecture and first of all, I can navigate. So simply by pressing the different slide numbers here, I will navigate between the slides. That's one thing you can do. But uh, more powerfully, actually, is that I can select a pen color. Now I selected red, and I could highlight methane. So it becomes suddenly a digital board. So the functionality of the pen is decided by which tool you select down here. Now I select green, and I draw on ethane. So now I highlight that with a green line. And you can also, uh, there's a little uh, rubber stamp here. So, for instance, if I do like this, I remove the green I just did. So this is uh, not so intuitive because you're actually writing on the paper, but the tool you selected was the eraser, so you removed what you just did. You can also highlight things. So, uh, selecting the highlight tool right here allows you to, uh, to highlight certain things. Uh, let's take a look. So, I now highlight the header up here. And again, it can, it, it can look a little weird that you're actually crossing out the header, as you can see, I just did. So this is the functionality of the pen working as, as a uh, smart pen, as a digital board. And uh, as you draw on different slides, you'll also see that I just draw on slide number four, I, I draw on slide number three now, and it will just jump to that slide. One thing is annotating existing slides, you can also simply write on a blank slide and uh, Anoto supplies you with a little uh, test copy board, they call it, which is just blank slides. And if you want to have a blank slide in your presentation, you just create a blank slide without any text on and you can instantly jump to that blank slide in your slideshow and draw whatever you like using it effectively as a digital white or blackboard in class. When you're done with your annotation of your slideshow, you exit your slideshow I hope that would work. Come on. Thank you. And as you can see here, you are asked if you want to keep your ink annotations. So you can select keep. And when you do that, you'll see that everything you drew on your slideshow will be saved. And you can now save your PowerPoint show. You could print it as a PDF and distribute it to your class that easily. If you want to create a pen cast out of annotated slides like this, you would need to add additional software like um, screencasting and uh, you could use Camtasia for that, which would be a good choice because Camtasia is actually also integrated with uh, PowerPoint and you see it right here up in the toolbar right here that Camtasia has a tiny record button. If you press that, Camtasia will record your slideshow. As you can see with the microphone input, you can click here to begin recording and uh, when you're doing that, it just works like regular screencasting, basically. 
recording whatever happens on screen. So as you draw, these things become a pen cast, a video that you can later distribute using YouTube and so on. But take a look at the video demonstrating how Camtasia works because that's basically the process you need to apply in combination with the Anoto pen presenter.